Is there anything more frustrating than trying to enter credit card numbers or other long numbers in Excel and you get this scientific notation where it cuts it down? Well, if you're frustrated with this and looking for another way to do it, we will show you how to input this text so it doesn't happen and two different ways to import other files so when you bring it in, it doesn't happen. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm the analytics dude and I do analysis tutorials and discussions using programs like Excel and Nine. If that's the sort of thing that interests you, please subscribe and check out my other videos. The first thing you need to realize when you're working with credit card numbers or other sorts of really long ID numbers is that you're not really working with the number. You're working with the string or text data. You're not multiplying it by anything. You're not adding it to anything. It's just a long, unique identifier. And so what Excel is doing is Excel is making a decision for you. It's saying this long number, you don't really need all that detail. You can work with it in just scientific notation. And so it shortens it. So it'll wind up looking something like this. Right, this is obviously super long, hit enter, and it it's puts in scientific notation for you. If you don't want that to happen, if you're entering them in, then what you should do, well, I like to just you know, do the whole column, is you set the type to text. Right, It doesn't help you with the one that's already been done, but further ones that you enter in here you know, otherwise would be um, abbreviated into scientific notation aren't because it needs to be a text file. So if you have credit card data stored somewhere else, it's in a .txt, a .csv, or even an XLS, uh, an Excel file where they've managed to store it in there, you need to be able to bring it into your file in a special way. Otherwise, Excel is gonna look at it and go, oh, you don't really need all this data on those long numbers, and it'll, it'll uh, put in scientific notation on this first one. So how do we do that? first method of doing this is actually not my favorite way of doing it because it uses Power Query, which I'm honestly not a huge fan of. But the way you do it is, uh, and this is for new Excel, newer versions of Excel or Office 365, you go data, and then you go from text or CSV. And now what's gonna do is you're gonna have to find the file. So I keep mine in videos, analytics dude, Excel, import large numbers, and then so here we have our credit card data. Double click on that and it brings up a menu for us. Now this is less than straightforward. So you see, um, you always want comma delimiter because it's a CSV file, that's what uh, CSV stands for. It says comma separated variable. Um, so now you see it still comes up as like these credit card number things. So we need to transform the data, right? Uh, so when we get in here, we click on this one, transform data type. You see how it says whole number? Click on that, move that down to text replace current, boom. See how it changes there? And now we close out of this and it says, do you wanna keep your changes? Yes, absolutely we wanna keep our changes. And boom, there you go. Now because it's Power Query, Power Query it comes into a table and so uh, you say, but I don't want a table. That looks funny and there's weird ways to operate it. So you go to Table Design and you click on Convert to Range and uh, it'll permanently move it back to just regular data. You, you still keep these funky colors though. Click OK, and bam, there you are. Now my preferred way to do this is uh, actually the old way. We're gonna kick it old school right here. So it's with the text import wizard, which may not be installed or enabled on your version of Excel with Office 365 or, or one of the newer versions. Mine wasn't before I had to set it up for this. So the way to do that is you go File, you go Options, don't worry, this is super easy. Then Data. And what you want is you want to make sure that from text is checked. That gives you the text data import wizard, uh, the legacy version. So we'll click OK here. I don't actually know how to find it up here anymore. I'm not sure you can, but you can find it from the search bar. So you say text import wizard. Um, and this one is get data from text is the text import wizard. So click on that same as last time. We need to find our file. And same, CC data. Okay, so it's three steps. Delimited is what you want. Remember, it's comma separated variable. That means um, it is separated by commas. Fixed width, um, sometimes there's like fixed file widths in these. Uh, don't worry about that now. And we'll click my data has headers because that row one customer ID and CC number are headers. We click next um, and then delimiter. So what kind of delimiter is it? Is it a tab? No, it's a comma. You see that comma in between them? Remember, like I said, it's a CSV, that's what it stands for, comma separated variable. 
So you click comma right there, and then we go on to next part three. All right, so this one, see how it has the first one highlighted, not the second one? So we'll click text on that one, and it says now at the top, it says it's text. Well, it still says general for CC number. So if it comes in as general, guess what it's going to do? It's going to cut it down to scientific notation. So we just click text. This way, you can format each individual column however you want it. All of the other ones, you know, this is obviously a very small data set. But if it's a huge data set, you could want general on all the other ones. And so you just do the text on this one. Uh, you got that. Then you click finish. It asks you where you want to put it. Yeah, of course, right at the top. And bam, it works. I appreciate you watching, and stay tuned for lots of future analysis and Excel content. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have suggestions for future content, leave those in the comments also. I promise you I'll get to them. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, I'm the Analytics Dude. Thanks for watching.